Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Torin Berge. I'm one of the PTs here at the Thoracic Clinic. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the second P uh, in our series in this 3PR podcast kind of intro, uh, audio cast, YouTube thing, whatever it is. Um, and we're going to uh, talk today about the word posture. All right, last time we were here, uh, Jason talked to you about the word position, uh, which is the first P in our series. And position is basically just a relative term for, uh, for an alignment of a body part. And he used uh, um, uh, some models. He showed you the position of a pelvis that wanted to be either neutral or in an anterior tip position and how that had to maybe an impact on the position of a rib cage. Uh, and those positions are important to us, but they really only tell us one piece of the story. Uh, and if we think about the word posture, posture is really uh, the relative positions of lots of body parts or lots of body systems at the same time. Um, and while position is a kind of almost a static description of a, where a body part could be either forward or up or, or whatever word you want to use, uh, posture kind of relates how all those body parts work together. Now, it's a direct relationship to the position that you're in, so the position of those body parts really shows up or looks like a posture. Now, we think of posture as not just a static position, but as a dynamic, moving uh, entity. So we all have postures. We have postures when we sit. I have a posture right now as I'm, as I'm sitting. If I'm going to be laying down, I have a posture. I had to change posture to get from here to there. Um, posture is not just good or bad. It's just a general term for how your body systems are aligned. Um, there's uh, postures that hurt that might be good postures, but I don't like them because they hurt. There are postures that might be bad postures, but they're the only postures that feel good, so you might want to go into those positions or those postures because they feel good. Now, we want to make sure that you have access to lots of postures and lots of positions and ability to move from one to another without problems, without compensation, without uh, limitations, or without, ideally, pain. Um, now, the next P that we'll get into next time says that there's patterns of how we use our body that does influence the the postures that we get into, which are then described by the positions that our body parts and pieces get into. So the posture is just really a reflection of how you put everything together. And it's going to descri help describe the position that you're in, but they're going to be determined by the patterns that we use. So posture is kind of a good term, but it's just really kind of the mid-range of uh, the description that we talked about. Then. So next time we're here, look forward to le learning a little bit more about what this word pattern means uh, and how that will have an impact on your posture and therefore your position. Look forward to talking to you more about it. Talk to you soon. Thanks.